Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about uh, Power BI report refresh error message. So in this error message, like if you ever updated your Power BI data gateway and then you got this error message, then there's a few things you need to check. So, but this error message could uh, is kind of like uh, it does not give you like uh, much uh, good information for you to know where you need to what you need to do and how you can fix it can because the information here is kind of misleading if you read this information here then uh, you will see the major part of this error is that could not load file assembly uh, this Microsoft dot analysis services dot Adam D client then it give you a version so then uh when people read this error message you may tend to just uh, google what this what this uh adam client assembly analysis service adam client uh adam d client version 19.10 does you may google that and and then you you may find some uh installer for you to install a newer version of this adam d uh, client and you may find some other link which uh, provide you some packages then you have to use the Visual Studio uh, to see the content and then uh, so uh, but and it tells you how to check the version of this analysis service or DOM D client so all those information is kind of uh, misleading so this error message may not lead you to the right path to fix the issue. But if you see this error message suddenly after you update the personal gateway, it could be like uh, somebody else installed another uh, personal gateway on the on the on another computer and then uh, somehow that gateway is selected. So what you have to do, you have to make sure under your gateway, under uh, when you go to manage gateway, you should only see one gateway there. And uh, if you don't, um, you should only see one gateway and that gateway should show online status. If that gateway does not show online status, then you have to make sure um, you have to sign in on the gateway on the computer in, you install that gateway. And uh, sometimes, uh, so for this error message, like uh, we have a customer, they got this because uh, somehow somebody installed uh, so you know there's a uh, two Power BI data gateway one is the personal mode it's still called personal mode right now and another one is called the uh, Power BI data gateway so it was called the uh, enterprise previously but now it's just uh, called the uh, data gateway so if somebody installed the data gateway uh, for that enterprise version uh, and then Instead of this personal mode, then uh, when you go to, because I don't want to show it here, this is the environment of a customer, so I don't want to show their report and anything there to expose their information. So, but if you go to manage gateways, and uh, you will see if you install the data gateway uh, for the enterprise version, then uh, after you install that, you will see there's a cluster, there's a data gateway cluster there's a gateway cluster instead of like you only see one gateway for the personal mode you will see you can configure a cluster so that could be an issue but if you do have multi, multi multiple gateway there then you have to make sure you select uh, uh in front of each gateway then there's a radio box you can select you have to make sure you click on that to make sure that gateway is selected and make sure there the data is now going through the other gateway. Because in this scenario, because uh, somehow somebody installed uh, on our client customers, uh, Power BI server, somebody installed um, uh, that the other gateway enterprise, the Power BI gateway enterprise, and then that created a cluster and uh, the data is trying to go through that gateway instead of the personal mode in installed. The data gateway with the personal mode so that is causing the issue so uh, for this video I just want to talk about if you get this error don't go there don't check here don't miss don't be misled by this information like uh, try to install something for this Adam client uh, version this version 19.10 don't try to do that that will not fix your issue 
So just check your gateway to make sure your gateway is installed properly. And uh, make sure if it's a personal gateway, make sure you own, when you go to manage gateway, make sure you only have one gateway and that gateway says running status. And uh, if you are using uh, enterprise, if you are using the Power BI uh, data gateway, the enterprise version, uh, then you make sure uh, you have the cluster, the gateway cluster uh, configured properly. Because a cluster is a uh, multiple gateways, then the, the, the purpose for that is just in case like uh, one gateway is not available, then uh, it can fill over to another gateway. So that's why it's usually used by, uh, it's used by the Power BI data gateway, which is the enterprise version. It's not used by the personal mode. For personal mode, it's like, um, you can also configure class, but it's, it's not, uh, very common like you will configure a cluster for the personal gateway because it's only for personal use but uh, it, the name personal mode data gateway personal mode it sounds like it's for personal use but as a company you can also use the uh, this gateway the reason for using it is because uh, it allow you to use the data source like an excel spreadsheet but for the enterprise gateway for the power bi data gateway it does not allow you to uh, use Excel spreadsheet as a data source. So that's why uh, some companies, even its organization, is not uh, for personal use, but it, they can still use the data gateway personal mode because the data source, they require Excel spreadsheets. Okay, yeah, so I think that's everything I want to share in this video. Thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. I hope to see you guys again next time.